I'm Captain Quinn, and today we are building a beech wood bug out house, bunk house, beach hut. Here's gonna be the building site. Right here. We're just gonna do a five by five by five. All we're gonna use is logs from the beach. A shovel and a machete. Our muscles and our brains. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out a space. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a ditch foundation. This is gonna be used to put driftwood, the driftwood walls in. We're gonna dig it about three to four feet deep. And that's gonna be basically the perimeter of our beechwood bunkhouse bug out. So we're almost done, the perimeter ditch, sand, clay, yes! foundation. I did it! Help! Then we're gonna fill it with logs. Don't fall off the cliff. You may have noticed that I'm sporting blue nail polish. That's what happens when your wife doesn't get a daughter and instead has three boys. You get sucked into the odd manicure. It's almost totally connected, guys. You got a little bit further to connect. Here comes the little baby. They did it. Let's see guys. Perfect. So I'll just shovel out that and we're good. High fives. Oh, high five, bud. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to put the walls up now. Look at our excavation. That's impressive. Hey, wouldn't you say? Yeah. We made a big sand square. That is one heck of a sand castle. Well, the, the important part here is we're gonna build the side walls higher than the front and the back walls. And we're gonna put the back wall the lowest, so it's a sloping roof. And then we're just gonna lie big logs along the top. And then by having the side walls higher, they won't be able to roll off. And by having the back log, touching the ground or this low log here, it won't be able to slide off and it won't be able to go off the front because the front's going to be higher than the back. I am, but when I build the stuff. Do you understand? Good. Okay. Yeah. You, he understands. So if you don't, you're, you're an idiot. Let's go. Okay. We had to take a quick break to go get some logs and help unload a boat, but we're back. So I'm just going down the beach, just going down the beach and I'm looking for logs that are manageable and somewhat straight and, and uh, sound, not rotten or anything. So I've called these back. I got one, two, three, four, five. I'll use this two, six, another one down there, seven. And that should just about make one wall. It's laborious, but it's also a good workout. Um, and we're starting at the back. I know the back post is tall, but we're gonna go shorter to taller. And then the roof is gonna be slanted down. And it's gonna just be nothing crazy. Just kind of like a, a pretty bomb proof shelter and sweet kind of play castle for the kids. So we'll get back to it. So we finished one wall. How long did that take? <laughs> no, a couple You're hours. Sweating. I am sweating. It's better than going. It's nice to mix up your workout. Go for a run. Move thousands of pounds of dirt and rock it and logs. Wee. Pretty sturdy. It's in there. This is where the window is going to be. The front logs are going to be about. 
here. So the roof will slope back there. Probably, yeah, the front logs are gonna be about this high, no higher than this. The front logs will be about here, no higher than that. So the roof can butt up against these. Um, what we did, I don't know if you saw that, but we were uh, taking big rocks and kind of wedging the logs in on the inside, the interior and the exterior. We gotta make a toilet! Before we put another one up. Uh, hey. <laughs> no, no. And the kids are already playing on it. Are you gonna do a jump? Awesome. I could do that too. So we finished the back wall. So you see it's, it's, it's the lowest of all of the walls. That's going to create the slanted roof. And then now we're going to do the other side wall with other big logs like that that weigh a lot. You ready? This is, I'm down to one helper. Okay, let's go. GoPro, stop recording. As you can see, the kids have kindly filled in the entire perimeter ditch that I dug, so I get to do it all over again, which is very exciting. It'll be a good workout. Well, I think this is our last log, and uh, and then the door, and then the roof. So, dug the hole, carrying the beast. The children have been pretty, you know, interested, disinterested helpful unhelpful but we're hopefully gonna finish it today here we go tall yeah. could have made it a bit deeper well i've been trying to get these to all match up but it's kind of guesswork might have to rethink this but we'll get there so we figured it out, we dug some more holes, and we placed some more logs. And I've been being lassoed the entire time like I'm just a piece of livestock. The barefoot baby has come to help. Hi, you're my number one guy. I don't know about this guy. Watch out. And then this guy's trying to lasso me. Let's see, kind of just filled in the corner that's gonna be our door you knock the baby over and I think we're at the end well we need to we still need to build the roof the roof yeah GoPro, stop recording. Just added a few more logs to the back wall with my Herculean strength. Just pick it up like kindling. So this will serve as the, the back wall. And then now we'll put the roof on. As you can see, it wasn't exactly flush, so rain will get in through that crack. But I can maybe resolve that by notching out there and then fitting the uh, of the logs that are sticking out. So this one and that one. And, and then maybe just making them all as flush as I can. And then I'll just fill this in with, you know, other branches after. Try to make it as weatherproof as possible. This is where a window is going to be. Film this person. Back up. Good. I need a hand. I I cut it twice, and it's still too short. Okay. 
check this out. Our window frame. There, window frame. Get how that's all in the The bottom of our window frame. She's in there good. Gotta do the same. What well, I think door. about it. Good. Rock like this. Any of the posts that's a little too wobbly for you. You put it in beside your post. You push it down and then you wedge it in. Absolute sturdy as heck now. It's called the rock post wedge. Okay, son, this is my best pole. I dug it r really deep. I need you to just make sure it's it's sturdy. It'll be the best one of the lot. Okay, watch if it's sturdy, then. I'm just gonna go to work here. You tell me how it, it goes. Uh, then? Yeah. <laughs> Was it good? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh. What do you do now? Better check the rest of them really good. Now the roof bolt won't slip off the back and give someone a concussion. So far so good. Kids are com have completely lost interest, so it's just me out here now, building myself a beach fort. Feeling like a kid again. Okay, let's have a quick look at our progress here. Uh, we're putting on the roof. So just starting to slide the boards across. Uh, I had a header here that I notched in, but I, I don't like it. I didn't like it, it just felt too unsafe um, when you have children climbing on the roof. So I'm gonna put another post here. And then I'm just gonna make it a bit higher than here. And then I'm gonna run a big runner like this down here and uh and then for this gap we'll just put boards across this way and uh we should have a pretty good roof our window let's get to work i just put in the uh, last post right here kind of tuck it behind to square it up a little bit because it was kind of wasn't exactly square but it's good enough for a beach house bunker right boys yep. and then we'll put another runner down here and then we can uh, fill this in this way little window maybe one day put a little fireplace in here that could be the chimney guys we gonna sleep in here tonight yeah well we better get the roof on looks like some weather's blowing in
it won't be hard to fill little gaps like this in just to find a piece of wood that's the right length and plunk her in. Is that trap for me? No. No. It's for animals. There, now we'll just run cross sectional runners all the way back. It'll be great. Then we'll sleep in it. Boys, didn't I tell you to clean your room? It's a pigsty in here, there's dirt everywhere. Judge of the jungle! Back door. It's a back door that we made. We made a house. Front door. Roof. Uh, window. Walls, ventilation, ow, hey, what? not cool, that really hurt, that could have poked me in the eyeball, okay. what do you say, Sorry. stabbed with a spear, So now, just to kind of make it weatherproof, we would just go and fill in all the gaps with little sticks, and then on top of that, maybe earth, moss, and you know, it won't keep us bone dry, but it'll keep us dry enough. You could, we could make little elevated beds in here um just kind of keep our body off the ground we could also lay down a bunch of evergreen branches and ferns to make kind of like a floor and we could also lay down a bunch of stones we could also do a hot rock bed in here there's just so many options maybe build a little fireplace out of stone beach rock the beach rock fireplace and we could put a door on there with pop can hinges. The possibilities are endless, but the framework is here. So, subscribe, tell your friends. Thanks for watching.